Hi everyone, Ms. Tash here. I'm here today to talk to you about the new project called Designing an Animal. Design an Animal. So I got this idea from a couple of things. First of all, I absolutely love nature. I love the beauty and perfection of animals. So I've always said like if there was ever a job in heaven, I would be like photoshopping a mashup of animals and then like me and the other angels would be like hiding them in the rainforest and or whatever and going, oh, that's a cool animal. Um, and I always used to say, well, all, all my animals would have like cat parts. So, you know, I invented the catfish some some time when I was when I was like an angel in heaven. So it's so silly. But anyways, um, what we have in the packet for you in the school schoology is um, <laughs> this woman had photoshopped uh, cat faces on animals. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, she stole my idea. So that's another one of those things we call a zeitgeist. The other way I got this idea was from this book I bought years ago called uh, Poor Gua Can by Sarah Ball. It's a flip book. And so what she has here is, um, so she, she has like animals and they're split up into three sections so that all of like the necks are the same size, all of the tummies are the same size. And then if you just like flip it, what you'll have is parts of other animals and they're sort of mashed up. So this is one way that you could do this project. So a couple things are going on here. First of all, I have this is yeah, I have the instructions here. So in your sketchbook, you're going to brainstorm ideas for invented uh, for the invented animal. It could be a mashup like what I just showed you, or it could have like mechanical parts or humanoid parts or however you want to do it. So if you want it to be more fantasy oriented, um, that would be kind of cool too. I mean, you know, let's face it, like octopus. It's so different than, you know, like a cat. Where do these? Where does this come from? It's so. It's just incredible. So maybe you'll create p parts that don't even really exist yet. Use words and images in your brainstorming, um, like furry, soft, etc. When you've honed in on your design, then you're going to fill out this a worksheet, and um, and then you'll title the animal. Okay. Then you'll go to your sketchbook, and inside your sketchbook, you'll start drawing the idea. So in your sketchbook, you're going to brainstorm ideas first. So let's say I'm about to do that. All right, so I like cat parts. <laughs> so I'm just going to put cat parts. You know, like I like whiskers, I like soft fur, you know. Beautiful, big, round eyes. Um, what else do I like? I really like colorful birds. So I'm going to put colorful birds. Or colorful. Like, I, I really like it when, um, you know, like when birds are very colorful. Okay, what else do I like? Do I like my animal? Do I want it to have a tail? Do I want it to have four legs? Maybe I want it to have... Um, Maybe I want it to be um, like par like a mermaid, like you know how in uh, how Ariel and in, in the Little Mermaid, how she's like she's got human feet and then she's like when she goes in the water she has a tail. So so maybe it's like a a fin, you know, when wet. So you see how I'm, I'm generating ideas. Now these are my ideas. Yours would be different. So then you start sketching out like, well, actually, then you look at this worksheet. And in the worksheet, it says list the physical attributes. Um, so what does this character or what does this um, animal look like? Um, and be specific. So this is doing it with words. And then you're also going to do it visually with a picture. Describe the animal's habitat. So where does it, where does it live? Uh, it, does it live in a warm climate? Like in the case of um, my cat, cats can be indoor outdoor, and the cat that lives next door is an outdoor cat, comes over to our deck, but my cat's indoors. So, you know, think about that. Like, is it just is going to be a pet um, that you keep in your house, or is it in um, the rainforest, like we said? Is it in the ocean? Um, what does it eat? Um, 
And then the final thing is, what is the animal's relationship to people? Again, is it a pet? Is it a predator? Does it like attack humans? Does it eat humans? <laughs> like, that's gross. Um, does it eat mosquitoes? There's a, um, you know, there's animals that do that. I guess the possum, you know, when you see a roadkill possum all the time, you're like, what does that animal do? And apparently it eats mosquitoes. And so it really helps with our environment. Um, and maybe you didn't know that. You're welcome. Okay, so now I'm going to start creating my animal. And this is, again, this is my animal. So maybe, uh, and of course I'm doing, here, I'll do it with pencil. Well, no, I'll do it with Sharpie. So maybe I want it to have that, I want it to have like a mermaid tail. That'd be fun. Okay. And then it's going to be cat-like. You know? This is just really fast and very uh, cartoon-like. Yours might, like, let's say you want to do, um, you know, cat parts or whatever, and then, like, you want to look at a picture of an actual cat that's going to help you. And the way that uh, you can do that is in this book, um, Art Materials and Resources. Mrs. Conan and I have put together, you know, there's a bunch of animals in here that you can look at. Um, lots of pages of animals. Um, I just saw that panda and I'm thinking, oh, I really like black and white too. I think that that's kind of a cool thing. So maybe, um, hmm, maybe I'm going to go with, um, you know, like a big eye, which I love. Maybe these eyes are going to have hearts in them because this is going to be a very like loving animal. And this is going to be like, um, what can we say about the face? Maybe it has a big nose and has like humanoid lips. Okay. <laughs> so silly. Um, what else could this animal have? Maybe this animal has a little like a mustache. I don't know. It's so silly. Um, so you, you sort of think about all the different things that your animal can have. Now mine looks very cartoony. What you want to make yours look like is kind of like so weirdly realistic that it could actually exist instead of just existing in like a Pokemon thing. So um, good luck with that and I hope you enjoy doing it. I am so excited to see what you come up with because it's going to be like way better than this. This is just off the off the cuff. What you want to do is you want to brainstorm and take your time with that and really focus on um, some of these uh, things that are in the worksheet. You will also be graded on both the worksheet and the drawing. So make sure that you do fill it out. Um, all right. Good luck.